Right, we're um, foraging in December here, down by the coast in Cornwall. This is, uh, again, looking at a lot of winter greens. And what we've got here is a, is a nice bed of watercress. Um, it's a plant that's around pretty much all year round in various states. I mean, as you can see, the bed here at the moment has died down quite a lot, but there's still a lot of edible foliage on it. Um, during the spring and summer, even through to autumn, that really picks up and it'll be quite abundant around here. Um, it has a small white flower. You can actually see an example of it here. I don't know if you can see that, but that's there's a there's one that's just got a little bit of flowering on it. Usually there's a lot more flowering than that, but it's unusual to find it in flower this time of year, but it's something to note for identification purposes. It's got a very zingy, mustardy, kind of tangy taste to it. Um, much tastier than the stuff that you find in the shops, although it's exactly the same variety. One thing you've got to be careful with with watercress is the water source that you take it from, because it can store a lot of, a lot of toxins in its system. Uh, including liver fluke and all sorts of nasty things like that. So make sure that you get it from a clean water source. But it does make a lovely, lovely addition to any kind of salads or anything like that. And cooked will generally destroy any of the toxins that are in it. So if you want to be on the safe side, chuck it in your stir fry. Okay, that's watercress.